There are a ton of different things that you can boot Windows off of. You can boot it off of a hard drive, a SATA SSD, a USB SSD, although I don't really recommend that, an M.2 SSD, a little tiny baby one, an M.2 SSD inside of an enclosure. This is a big boy. So what if you have one of these devices, but you want something else, but you don't want to have to reinstall Windows? Well, today I'm going to show you how to just swap over to a completely different hard drive, solid state, without having to reinstall Windows. So go ahead and start up the computer with the device that you want to clone, along with the device that you want to clone to. Now say you only have one M.2 slot. That's where this comes handy. This is a M.2 uh, enclosure, and it pretty much allows me to use this M.2 SSD as a USB uh, expansion device. If you didn't have that device and you wanted to move your SSD to another SSD, but you only had one M.2 slot, you would have to move it to like say a SATA SSD or a hard drive first, and then move it from the hard drive back onto the SSD after you swapped it out. So what I use for this is the free edition of Macrium Reflect. Macrium makes a great software for just moving from one SSD to another or a hard drive to an SSD without having to reinstall Windows. It only takes about 10 minutes. So what you're going to want to do is download for home use and it'll send you an email. So after you hit the download link, it'll, it'll download and start to install. And when it installs, it will ask you for a verification from that email. So here's where it's going to ask you for the verification from your email. You have to put in your email address and then put in the registration code that you get with that email that they originally sent you. So once you do that, it'll ask you for the install. You just go ahead and install it. It should take about two minutes. Let's go ahead and launch now. All right, so once you have the software running, go ahead and select the disk that you want to clone. That's our 512 gigabyte SSD here. Click clone this disk and it should pop up right up here at the top. And then select the disk to clone to. And this is where you will select the uh, add-on disk that you have here or the hard drive and then you have to do this again once you flash it onto the hard drive and boot off the hard drive. Then you have to install the second drive that you want to flash to so you can flash back to it. It's the same process either way. You just have to have more steps. So go ahead and select the because I have it in an a enclosure, I don't have to go through extra steps. Just hit next, next, finish, okay. This should take about 10 minutes and then you're good to go. Just a quick heads up while this is running. Don't try to copy and paste your windows to a flash drive, hard drive, whatever. It doesn't work, it takes forever, and mainly it doesn't work. All right. So that only took five minutes, so I lied. <laughs> Go ahead and close it, exit out, whatever. Shut it down, swap out your drive. Man, SSDs get super freaking hot when you do this. Oh my God, it is so hot. This thing is 160 degrees. Jesus, Samsung, it's so fast it burns you. So as you can see, this SSD is no longer in there. And just like that, you have a completely different SSD all your softwares and your Windows install. So you don't have to reactivate Windows, it's all there, you're good to go. So on another note, why I like Samsung so much is if you buy a Samsung SSD and then download Samsung's data migration tool, it's, so, it's super fast, it's super easy, it just works. So that's another option, like all you have to do is select your boot drive and then the new drive and hit start and it just goes. So it's a little bit easier than the Macrium software, but you have to be using Samsung's hardware for that. So it's kind of annoying. Like, so you can't use this PNY with Samsung's software, obviously. So like always guys, have a great day. This was super easy to make. It's super fun to make. I, I, I had to figure it out myself because I didn't really know off the top of my head how to do this. I just knew that it was possible. So I looked into it, super easy, super fast. If you were switching out your slow M.2 SSD for a faster one, I can't imagine why you would do that. It's not exactly a huge gain, but if you're swapping out a hard drive for literally any SSD, that is a massive gain and you should do it immediately. So if you're looking for ways to put it off, 
you, you can't. <laughs> it's super easy. Just just try it out.